Wow. This is, this is hard to talk about. I, I feel a lump in my throat just getting ready to try to spit the words out. I realized that I have trouble with believing that I am loved and that and I think it goes back to times so many times of abandonment in my life it's like abandonment is something that I just seem to kind of live in people just flow in and out of my life and I'm just so used to it happening that I don't hardly expect people to stick around I've always kind of felt like a placeholder like well if not me, then... Like, I don't really have a place at the table. I'm just... Steps back and... So, yeah. I grew up with this, you know, God loves you sentiment. But the underlying message is always, God loves you if you conform. And extricating myself from old toxic beliefs, I don't know who God is anymore. I know that God is somehow, somewhere, some who, that doesn't make it any easier to accept that I'm loved by some force beyond myself. Like, how do you open your heart up to receive love, to believe that you are loved? I don't know how. I don't feel loved that, in that way. I know I'm loved by Morton and my kids, by some special friends, but I don't know how to feel that. I don't know how to acknowledge it and I, it made me think back to when some special friends of this channel, people, some of them I've met in real life, some I haven't, put their money together and got me a bunch of stuff off of my baby registry. And that really felt, I felt loved in that moment, especially just like seeing that Kindle. Like the nicest thing that I own, so that people put their hard earned money together went to the effort of mailing that to me. And that, that was very overwhelming. So yeah, do you feel loved? How does that feel? How do you open yourself up to feeling loved? Good question, huh? Hugs. I could not resist the beautiful, cool night air. I just needed to go out and experience it. Breathe it in. So many pungent, just deep flower smells. They're just like, whoa. Like when I was picking lilac bouquets for my mother-in-law's 60th birthday, like. I was just overpowered by the smell. It was so heady. And it's 10.30 and it's still this bright. <sighs> yeah. But the quality of my phone has become a hindrance, a, a hindrance to vlogging. It, the battery dies so quickly. It's at like 60% now. And I've recorded a minute of footage and we'll see how quickly it dies. It gets to 40% and then it just dies. Come on! And then I plug it back in and it says it's 60% immediately, but it's still turned all the way off. Anyway, nobody cares about my stinking phone. I'll have to wait till the so Morton starts his new job in the fall to get a new one because we can't really afford a whole other bill just now. C'est la vie. 
But then of course in the next few months I'm gonna get hundreds of thousands of subscribers and start making money off of the channel and then I'll be able to get the phone right away with all the money I'll be making. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording and look around at beauty and just look and see how Try to feel loved. Try to feel connected. Yeah. Dang. Decluttering and cleaning really is a spiritual thing. Because my house, I am just so aware of how much clutter there is. And it's like, there's so much clutter inside of me too. So much that I have to throw away. So much that I have to like set aside for another day and deal with later but that I don't need in my space right now. I don't need on my shelves. It's like carrying around this old disappointment of that I've imagined others have put on me, that I know that my past self would have put on me and just allowing myself to be as free as I truly am. I mean, to a much sillier angle of this, if I were to continually obsess over what people might think if they were to notice my the, 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 the hair on my legs, the horror, if I hadn't pushed through those thoughts to just allow myself to be free, to acknowledge that nobody cares and even if they did they have no impact whatsoever upon my life as it is. Yeah. And now I can enjoy with relish the feeling of the wind blowing through my leg hairs and pit hairs. very well may be infinitesimal or the borders may go so long and so wide that we'll never see the ends of them so it may as well be infinitesimal what's the difference but our the parameters of our home are not and when we find a new version of ourselves that we're happy within there's just not space for the old clutter and the new things to be in the same space it's just chaos and I actually started to hum a song to myself. Ooh, a tunnel's a good place to sing it. Acoustics. <clears throat> There's so much chaos in my heart today. I've just got to throw it away. Maybe when I'm editing this later, I'll remember that and I'll be like, ooh, I can add to that. But that's what I've got right now. This is pretty much the best video ever made.